a simple call to police. On April 27th, we received a welfare check at the 100 block of Paddock Street in Sebastian. Concerned neighbors say they hadn't seen 93-year-old Marie Hoskins in days, if not weeks. Captain Timothy Wood with the Sebastian Police Department says officers, too, could not locate Hoskins. The very next day, police were again back at her home. The same officer, still kind of have a, a, an odd feeling about the situation, decided to kind of continue to follow up with it. Uh, exhausted all leads as far as like hospitals or anything like that where an elderly person might be able to might be at. Once officers got to the house, they went to the front door. They knocked on the door to see if anybody was home. They noticed that no one was coming to the door, but there was a TV on and a dog was barking. So what they ended up having to do was reach out to a family member that is out of state to be able to get entry. Wood says the family member told them about a spare key. Once inside, they came across Hoskins' 64-year-old daughter. Police say she too initially said she hadn't seen her mother, but the investigation took a sudden turn while inside the home. So they decided to kind of continue the residence to kind of just see if she was inside, at which point when they went into the garage, they located a chest freezer and uh, there was a deceased person inside. Captain Wood says the daughter voluntarily came in for questioning. Right now, the investigation remains active. For neighbors like Richard Maloney, he's saddened by the news. It's sad. And I was kind of shocked, you know. Brandon Kahn lives next door, saying he rarely saw his 93-year-old neighbor. It was rarely. Every now and then I'd see her grabbing her mail or something like that. Police are now working with the medical examiner to determine the next steps.